Hello, ninth grade Overton Bobcats. I'm Ms. Hutchinson, your freshman academy counselor, and welcome to high school. I'm the person you're free to contact if you have questions about your schedule, concerns about your grades, if you'd like to make contact with one of your teachers, or someone else in the building and you don't know how to reach them while we're on the virtual platform. Feel free to reach out to me at the information listed below, and I'll be more than happy to assist with whatever concerns you're having at this time. I want to remind everyone we are on a 4x4 schedule this school year. On a 4x4 block schedule, you will be receiving one full credit of coursework when you leave for winter break in December. Normally, we're only receiving half credits in December. But this year, while we're on this virtual platform, you will be receiving a half credit for quarter one and another half credit for quarter two. In fact, by the time we leave for October fall break, you will come back with your report card for the middle of the, of the semester, and we will finish the whole school year by the time we leave in December. So what that means is you'll have four full credits on your report card at the end of the semester for the classes that you're taking. You'll go home for winter break. And then once you return, you'll have four new classes in January and the four by four schedule will start again. I want to take a moment to really stress the importance of earning your credits. Once you are in high school, every grade that you take will accumulate into a transcript. And that transcript will also determine whether or not you graduate on time with your class. Also, the grades on that transcript will determine what type of college you'll be eligible to participate or to apply to once you're a senior. Everything we're doing at home right now counts, it matters, it's recorded, and we will keep that on record for you. And those of you who are trying hard and being successful with your teachers and your classes, you are making smart decisions that will equate into opportunities later on when we're talking about graduation and college. And I know right now that seems far, far away, but I promise you it sneaks up on you quicker than you can ever imagine. We want to encourage you to sign into Schoology. Sign into Schoology synchronously and asynchronously every day so that your teachers know that you're participating. This is also how we keep record of attendance. And if you're having trouble, reach out to your teachers. Email them on Schoology. Overton teachers are more than glad to help students, especially the students who are showing an effort. We don't expect that you understand everything that you're trying to do from home, but we do expect that you're trying and that you're participating and that you're reaching out to us if you need help and support. That's why we are here. We want to see you succeed. So just to emphasize, September 21st through 25th is college week. We will be reaching out to you through your AVID and freshman seminar classes to talk to you more about planning for your future. We'll talk even more about how classes turn into credits, credits turn into graduation, and graduation turns into college. We miss seeing your faces in the building. Hopefully we will be able to see you again in person here really soon. I want to take time to introduce myself so that you'll know who I am and feel free at any time to reach out to me at the information listed below. I am Ms. Hutchinson, your Freshman Academy Counselor, and welcome to High School at Overton. Welcome, Benvindu, Caribu, Atlambica, Bienvenido. My name is Ms. Chaparro, and I am the school counselor for ninth grade English language learners. Gina Langoni, Ms. Chaparro. Is mi hua, Ms. Chaparro. Me onomia, Ms. Chaparro. Me llamo Ms. Chaparro, y soy la consejera académica de los estudiantes del noveno grado que están aprendiendo el inglés. Les quiero explicar unas cosas acerca de la preparatoria, o high school. Este año escolar tienen un horario que es cuatro por cuatro que quiere decir que ahorita tienen cuatro clases y en enero tendrán cuatro clases diferentes. En octubre, que es a unas cuantas semanas, van a recibir la nota para el semestre en las clases que están cursando ahorita. Esa nota se les otorga medio crédito en su clase y ya en diciembre terminan 
esa clase y recibirán el crédito completo de dicha clase. Así que deberían de estar fijándose bien en lo que tienen que hacer para pasar todas sus clases. Lo bueno del horario y cómo es ahora es que así son las clases en la universidad. Entonces, básicamente se están preparando para la manera que van a hacer las clases ahí. Quiero dejarlos con esto. Estoy aquí para ayudarles con lo que pueda. Aquí ven mi correo electrónico y mi número de celular. Mándenme un mensaje con su nombre y platíquenme algo sobre ustedes para poder conocer a cada uno mejor en estos tiempos de aprendizaje virtual. Please copy my cell number and send me a text or WhatsApp message with your name and something about you to get to know you while we are learning virtually. Hi, I'm Ms. Osborne. I'm the Gear Up Specialist for Overton High School. I wanted to give you a little bit of a background of what I do and how I can be supportive to you and your student. So part of my job is to help you and your student decide what you want to do after high school and then help you get there. So I do that by providing college and career exposure opportunities for students like college visits, um, either virtual or in person, depending on how things go, or job shadow opportunities. Um, and I also work to partner with parents to support students in their college and career goals. So let's talk about your current self and your future self. We know that the four by four classroom schedule that students are a part of this year is really different from what they've done in the past, but one of the benefits of it is that it really mimics college in a lot of ways. So just like college, um, where most schools are on a semester um, schedule, students will have one semester to finish an entire class. Now, we know that that means that there is a really fast pace, so students are learning a lot of material really quickly, um, which can be both a blessing and a curse for students who are finding themselves in a class that they don't particularly enjoy. We know that it'll be over at the end of December. For those of us who are struggling in a class, it can feel really overwhelming. But part of what we can do now is get ourselves used to this kind of a schedule and build in some um, useful skills so that this will be less difficult in the future. Uh, one of the other things that's different about a 4 by 4 schedule is that students who are internally motivated, who have some internal push or drive to do the work, are ones who can do really well. There are some of us who are externally motivated, so we do better when we have somebody cheering us along or helping us find um, ways to make this more palatable for us. And that can happen in this kind of a setting too. It's a little bit more difficult, but it can still happen. Either way, using that, kind, that motivation to get your work done is something that successful students do. The skills that you're building and practicing now will really translate to your post-secondary plans. For my students who know for sure that they want to go to college, this is really building those foundational skills to help you do your best in that kind of a setting. And for students who are not sure what they want to do after high school or are planning to go straight to work, being able to set your own deadlines and meet the deadlines that you have to do in your 4x4 classes is still something that will translate to a successful post-secondary plan. And we want you to keep in mind that the choices that you as a student you, that you're making right now really impact your future. We want to make sure that students have the best opportunity to um, choose whatever they want to do in the future. And part of that is making good choices right now to set yourself up for success. So just a quick intro. Remember that the classes that you successfully complete um, earn credits toward your graduation. All students need 28 credits to graduate. And of those 28 credits, everyone has to have the following ones that are in blue. Um, even if you pass the, some of the other classes that you have, if you don't make sure that you have these ones that are in blue, we will not let you walk across that stage. The state of Tennessee will not allow that to happen. So credits make your GPA. For every class that you complete, you get a letter grade that equals points. For every A, you get four points. For every B, you get three. C, two points. Ds get one point. And we try our very best not to get Fs because Fs give us zero points and really bring our GPA down. So your GPA is the average of all of your grades. Credits plus your GPA are the things that help you get to college. Remember, you're earning your GPA right now. So colleges and some jobs use your GPA to help them better understand who you are as a student. 
Are you someone who's consistently getting A's and B's? That for some colleges and for some jobs helps them understand that you are a person who puts in the work that you need to to be successful in your classes. They can use this information to help decide whether or not they want you as a student on their campus or a worker in their organization. And just keep in mind that it is always, always easier to start with a high GPA and keep it than to try to increase your GPA later on. So you have the ability to be successful. We know it. Um, in high school, remember that your actions build on each other. So if you are somebody who is starting out really strong and studying, that will help you be uh, achieve the goals that you want in the future because you already have that practice. There are lots of people here to support you. There's me, there's Ms. Hutchinson, there's Ms. Chaparro. We all want to make sure that you're successful um, and we have some resources to help you do that. Asking for help is always a good idea. Um, successful students are the ones who know that there are things that they don't know and they ask to fill those gaps. Not everybody is good at everything all the time the first time, and that's okay, but asking for help is a way to help you get the things that you want. Uh, we want all of our students to try their best, not somebody else's best, but your best. Um, and we know that you have what it takes to be successful. We're here to support you as you become college ready, career ready, and life ready.